let's look at a calculation involving empirical formula. Remember, empirical formula is the simplest ratio of the atoms involved. So methane, CH4, the empirical formula and the molecular formula are the same. Ethylene, though, the ratio of carbon to hydrogen atoms is 1 to 2, but the actual molecular formula is C2H4. So there's a difference between the empirical and the molecular formula. Let's look at a calculation involving these empirical formulas. It's going to involve skunk spray. We're going to take skunk spray, a 2 milligram sample, and we're going to break it down into its components. Carbon will contain 1 milligram. It'll contain 0.183 milligrams of hydrogen and 0.727 milligrams of sulfur. Those are the mass ratios. What we need to do is convert those to mole ratios to get to the empirical formula. So let's do that. 1.09 milligrams of carbon, convert that to moles of carbon by using a conversion factor with the relative molar mass of carbon. In this case, we can use milligrams and millimoles. So 1.09 milligrams of carbon is 0.091 millimoles of carbon. We can do the same thing with hydrogen, converting milligrams of hydrogen to millimoles of hydrogen using the relative molar mass of hydrogen. And we can continue and do that with sulfur. So all three compounds from milligrams to millimoles. Now we know the mole ratios, they just aren't very neat. So let's just take the smallest one, 0.023 millimoles of sulfur, the compound there in the smallest number of moles, and divide it into the other two to get some simpler ratios. That is, see the ratios in a simpler way. So take the 0.91 millimoles of carbon divide by the millimoles of sulfur, that's about 4. Ratio of 1 to 4. The millimoles of hydrogen, it's about 8. 1 to 8 sulfur to hydrogen ratio. And of course, 1 to 1 sulfur to sulfur ratio. So the molar ratios are 1 to 8 to 4 in this compound. The empirical formula four carbon atoms to every eight hydrogen atoms to every one sulfur atom. That's the empirical formula. Now, if you also knew the molar mass of the compound, which would have to be some multiple of this, you could come up with a molecular formula. So the molar mass, if you did the mass spectrum of this compound, turned out to be somewhere around 88. You could say the molar mass is well, this empirical formula, 4 times 12 for the molar mass of carbon, 8 times 1 for the molar mass of hydrogen, and 32 for the mole of hydrogen, that's 88.04 grams per mole. So this empirical formula has the same mass as the molecular formula. So in this case, it's like methane. The empirical and molecular formula are the same.